Thank you, ladies, gentlemen, friends. In this era where facts and truth are among the leading victims of the Kremlin's information war against our democracies, our societies, the work of journalists has never been more crucial than it is today. Among the most important are the fact checkers and investigative journalists who expose the corruption, human rights violations, disinformation, and lies of regimes who steal, torture, and kill with impunity. The groundbreaking work of Bellingcat, an international citizen-based investigative journalism platform, and its founder, Elliot Higgins, have heroically exposed the truth behind mass human rights violations and acts of terror committed or sponsored by the Kremlin and its allies. Using open source information, videos, satellite maps and images, Elliot and his team at Bellingcat revealed that a Russian ground terror missile was used in 2014 by Kremlin-sponsored terrorists in eastern Ukraine to shoot down a civilian airliner, Malaysian Airlines MH17, with 293 people on board. Without Bellingcat's reporting, awareness about the Syrian regime's monstrous use of chemical weapons and other atrocities against its civilian population would remain otherwise completely unknown and shrouded by the lies of Syrian and Russian state media. Most recently, Bellingcat discovered the identities of GRU assassins dispatched by Vladimir Putin to this country to poison Sergei Skripal with a deadly military-grade nerve agent, leaving one civilian dead. In the process of identifying the agents, Bellingcat thankfully exposed much of the GRU's operations and tactics, protecting the integrity of our collective security and the lives of other whistleblowers, activists, and critics of Vladimir Putin. Ladies and gentlemen, it is an incredible honor for me to present the 2018 Magnitsky Award for Investigative Journalism to award-winning investigative journalist, Elliot Higgins, founder of Bell and Cap. <laughs> Thank you very much. Um, people often ask me where the name Bellingcat comes from. Um, it's from a fable. It's about a group of mice who were very terrified of a cat. It was a large and ferocious cat. And um, they came with a, they had a meeting, a little mouse meeting. They all came together. And they came up with an idea, put a bell around the cat's neck. Um, but they then realized they didn't have a plan to do that. So at uh, Bellingcat, we're teaching the mice how to bell the cat. And um, it's the mice I would like to accept the award on today. And the mice are, um, the community that's grown up around the work of Bellingcat, who contributes in small ways and big. Um, often we think about Twitter as being a cesspool of arguments, anger, racism, um, but there's a community that's grown up around the work of Bellingcat that have contributed in so many ways to the work that we're doing. Uh, the mention earlier of the Ukrainian buck, uh, or the Russian buck we found in Ukraine uh, that shot down MH17, that was one person on Twitter who made an observation that we looked into and it allowed us to piece together all this evidence that we could use to prove it. When Russia started bombing Syria, it was a small group of people on Twitter who started finding out where those bombings were happening, proving Russia was lying about bombing ISIS repeatedly. And uh, most recently, we've been working on projects uh, where we've helped the mice uh, and got them involved with these different ideas. Europol's Trace an Object Stop Child Abuse campaign, where they took images from child abuse imagery, small objects, and asked the public to identify them. We used our network, we amplify that message, and around 70% of those objects have been identified in these child abuse cases. So it's the great work of uh, not only Bellingcat, but the amazing work of those people who follow Bellingcat's work, who contribute in every way, big and small, that I'm accepting this award for tonight. Thank you.